This is the Wizard News. Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor. Right through the door and all around the wall. A splotch, a blotch, be careful of the blob. Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor. Right through the door and all around the wall. A splotch, a blotch, be careful of the blob. Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor. The toxic hammerhead worm is inching its way to backyards in Illinois. The worm's head is shaped like a hammer. It is toxic and it is harmful to humans. The hammerhead worm secretes a slimy mucus that is toxic to other invertebrates. It uses these toxins to paralyze and digest its prey, which includes earthworms. These predatory land planarians are parasites that eat earthworms and can wipe out entire populations, said Howard Garrett, a gardening and landscaping expert in Texas. The hammerhead worms are believed to have originated in Asia. They are making their way to new locations, possibly via greenhouse plants. A hammerhead worm is a flatworm that contains the same neurotoxin as pufferfish, called tetrodotoxin, also known as TTX. A worm specialist explained to NBC5 Chicago that the toxins do not enter your body through your skin, but through the circulatory system. Touching a hammerhead worm and then rubbing your eye or biting your nail could be harmful. Hammerhead worms can grow to three feet long and have remarkable regenerative abilities. When the worm is cut into pieces, such as when someone is shoveling land, every piece turns into a new individual hammerhead worm. Garrett wrote, a better solution is to spray with orange oil to completely destroy it and prevent return. They are sensitive to vinegar, boiling water, and drying out. Placing them in a Ziploc bag and putting them in the sun will kill them. Hammerhead worms are poisonous and harmful to the ecosystem. Experts advise wearing gloves when dealing with them to avoid exposure to their mucus. Handling with bare hands can cause skin irritation. John Reynolds, a laboratory biologist and worm expert, told CTV News Toronto, it isn't really harmful to adults. It might create a rash and reaction in really young children, but they can be a bit of a problem. They certainly are not fatal. Source 1061 Evansville, August 5th, 2023 and CBS News April 29th, 2024. Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor. Right through the door and all around the wall. A splotch, a blotch, be careful of the blob. Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor. Right through the door and all around the wall. A splotch, a blotch, be careful of the blob. Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor. WZRD Chicago, 88.3 FM, Northeastern Illinois University's radio station, first signed on air 50 years ago on Monday, July 8, 1974. To commemorate these last five decades of broadcasting, WZRD invites our loyal listeners 
fellow DJs, staff, alumni, musicians, and anyone else who would like to support us in our 50th year to one of the best venues on the north side of the city, Martyrs. We will have four bands, vendors, merchandise, swag bags, and more. The event will be absolutely free. The bands booked will be of a free-form nature, punk rock, progressive jazz, funk rock, and electronic synth music will dazzle and astound you the night of Saturday, May 4th, 2024. Please bring your friends and family to this wonderful event to help all of us here at The Wizard celebrate 50 years. Doors open at 7 p.m. The show starts 7.30 p.m. and there is no cover. Saturday, May 4th, 2024 at Martyrs, 3855 North Lincoln Avenue in Chicago.